Hello, everybody. Um, this is DFS Chan coming to you here on January 24th. Um, we are back with a League of Legends slate preview video here. Um, I know we had gone over the LEC uh, content or slate uh, rather yesterday. Today, we're, we'll talk about the LCK slate, a two-game slate that will go on tomorrow morning. Eastern time, basically. Um, it's exciting. Um, I think it's um, in Asia, East Asia, rather. It's it's a Lunar New Year, Chinese New Year, if you want to call it that. Um, so in the in the LPL, there's a long break to celebrate that. In Korea, they do celebrate it, or I guess they did celebrate it, and now it's over. The holiday is over for them, so they are back at it starting tomorrow, as you can see on the screen. Um you see they have two games every day from Wednesday to Sunday. So that's exciting. And, you know, whenever the LPL comes back, which I don't think it's until next week, um, we will have a combined four or five game slates. So until then, we're going to be kind of stuck with two game slates. But some some of these games are interesting, I think, in my opinion. Obviously, one of the games today, <laughs> it's going to be a lopsided uh, um, fair, but... Uh, the next, ma the second match, uh, Sandbox versus KT is going to be interesting. So yeah, let's, without any further ado, let's dive in. Um, if you please uh, like this video or have liked this video before watching this video and like liked our contents, um, please, please hit the like button below or subscribe to our channel. That would mean a lot to us. Thank you. But today we have a two game slate. Like I said, um, the first game is between Dom, Dom One Kia or D Plus Kia now called uh, D Plus Kia um, and, and against Nongshim Red Force. Um, D Plus Kia is a big favorite. They should be at minus 1800. Um, I <laughs> agree with the odds. Nongshim Red Force has been one of the worst teams in the region so far. I mean, it's only been a week, basically. But um, I think they're the bottom tier teams. Uh, one of the bottom tier teams, um, definitely. I Fred and Breon was for me, but they surprisingly have won two games in a row or two series in a row. Nongshim, on the other hand, you know, as you guys, I think I've said this before on previous videos, but they are consisted of players from the challenger tier. And they're they they've all come up to the LCK. It's obviously a lot more competitive. It's a different scene out there, level of play, and they've struggled, like genuinely struggled. Um, and I'll show you how that translates into stats that will you know that that will support our analysis. But I just don't see any other result, um, any result other than Damwon Kia winning this series. I mean, maybe Nongshim can pull a pull a game off, but I think it's more than likely that um, uh, D plus Kia will win two to zero. So given that, I think for fantasy purposes, I think it's interesting to see the kill upside, right? I mean, you see here D plus Kia at 0.64, kind of slow. Nongshim Red Force at 0.59. I mean, 0.62 around there on, on average. I mean, pretty slow. Um, And given that... It's gonna be a you know very lopsided affair. I think you know the D plus Kia's um, kill upside is not very good, to be honest with you. So maybe we use them as a short stack. I think that might be popular, but at the same time, if you're playing cash, I think the biggest favorite is usually the chalk with the long stack. So maybe that's a different way to approach it. Maybe make them a short stack. I think it, it's not going to be as popular as people may think. So, so we'll see how that goes, but I mean, just like overall, I mean, I can kind of go through the roster as well um, real quick and see who I think will do well for that one. Kia, obviously deft as soon as they, as soon as, I mean, as soon as the season started, I knew he was going to, uh, benefit from having a good jungler in Canyon and Showmaker in the mid lane. Um, but I mean, you'll see that Deft has a 51.5% kill share. And then Kellen, the bottom lane duo, is on fire. As you see, Kellen has a 93.9% kill participation. 
percentage. And I think that's due to him playing more of a utility champion, support champions um, that will benefit from just, you know, participating in team fights uh, by its nature. Um, but Canyon, you see, I mean, his kill participation is high. Um, he's just been so dominant. Um, Hana, though, in the top lane, Rikana, I mean, he's been kind of up and down, in my opinion, but I don't think he'll have any any issue going up against um, the top lane in uh, the Ocean Breath Force. I mean, you see, like, down, uh, Din Din, I guess they call it. I mean, I think he's okay. He's not I mean, in my opinion, any significant threat to Kana. Um, and then, as mentioned, the bottom lane, I just feel like they cannot compete against Vital and Peter cannot compete compete against Deft and Kellen. So, yeah, I just don't see it. I just don't see it. I mean, look, let's look at Let's compare the stats real quick, just in case. Yeah, I mean, you see D plus Kia is, has a, like an 8 you know, 7.3% advantage there. Lane, better lane percentage, better dragon, better hero percentage, better plates, better first to three towers. I mean, better everything, right? Like you see even early game, mid to late game, gold spin percentage, rating, and everything. Yeah, I mean, so I think D plus key is going to win. I don't and but I don't think the kill upside is very good. So so let's look at what the kill upside is like in the next matchup versus uh sandbox versus KT. So theirs is not great either. I mean you see overall sandbox KT D plus Kia, yeah. But I just feel like that's gonna be a one sided matchup in favor of D plus Kia. Whereas I do think KT versus Sandbox will be a little more uh, competitive. I think Sandbox, um, you know, had a huge, huge upset. Um, I think by beating Hamna Life, I think it was, right? Yeah, in two to one. Which I think Hamna Life is a little bit overrated um, this early in the season. I know they have good players, great players, some great players and decent players all around. But Kled just did not look good at in any of the games. I mean, I just think Clint is not that great, in my opinion. I've kind of downplayed his abilities as well in in the um, LPL when he went over to FPX last season. I'm still on board. You know, I'm still kind of, you know, bullish on that stance, and, and I just feel like he's just not a, he's not the best jungler in the LCK once he used to be. So I just feel like jungling is so, so important in this meta that um, I think Sandbox did a really good job kind of uh, dominating in that regard with, uh, was it Willer? I think it was. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Willer played amazing. So so I, I, I fully expect Willer to continue that dominance. But I think going up against KT, it's going to be kind of tough. I do want to look at some stats here because I think it's going to be a close matchup. I think KT should be favored, are they? Yeah, they are favored. But let me look at the stats real quick. Jungle control percentage, KT is up as well. Um, Herald percentage, he's up there up. Uh, first to three towers, though Sandbox is up. And that's impressive given that they played against Hound of Life. And then goal difference, KT is up. And mid to late game, Sandbox actually has a decent mid to late game compared to KT. Early game, KT has an advantage. Gold spend percentage, gold per rating, percent rating. Um, I think KT has the legs up on that as well. So I do think KT has a lot more metrics, um, has few more metrics than Sandbox that, you know, that they should be favored. Um, as mentioned, I think Sandbox has really played really well, really well. I mean, I think their ceiling is high. I think when they're when all of the cylinders hit, I think they can beat any team in the league. Uh, maybe not T1 or D plus Kia, but I think on any given day, I think they can beat most of the teams um, in LCK as long as they all play pretty well. And Envy was pretty impressive too. I mean, closer up and down, but Envy is the most consistent player, in my opinion, on that team, uh, at least from what I've seen in those series. 
I wanted to see KT's uh, stats real quick. Aiming is lights out as well. He is probably one of the top four or five, probably three or four right now, actually, without Ruler. With Ruler gone to the LPL now, I think Aiming gets up there. Um, I do think Cuz is okay. He's not my favorite jungler, but I think he does okay for that team. So I think cuz or well, let's go from top to bottom, right? So top laner, Keen is obviously really good going up against Birdall, who has been pretty good as well. I think I mean I'm gonna have to give an advantage to Keen, but you know. Um let's look at the stats. Damage percentage, CS percentage. Yeah, I think Keen should have an advantage there. And jungle, I mentioned, I think Willer has been really good. Um, but I think it was a little more accentuated by the fact that Kled on HLE did not play well in that series in HLE versus uh Sandbox. Um, I do think Yeah, just looking at these stats, I think Cuz is okay. I mean, I think they're okay. I think they're kind of neutral match up there um bdd i'm not a huge believer in him but i think closer has a little bit of advantage there and then kt yeah i think kt should i think kt should win in a close one but obviously like given the fact that d plus kia is probably gonna be the chalk i mean you can kind of split your exposure between sandbox and kt but i think kt is gonna win at the end of the day i think sandbox like i said i think they um their stats are kind of a little bit padded because hle just cled especially did not play well um i think going up against a more overall better team rather not better talent or individuals necessarily a better team in KT. I think KT is going to uh, pull this off, but I'm not always be surprised if the sandbox pulls off the upset, but so that's probably what I'm going to go. I think it's probably chalky, but D plus Kia and KT, but on a two game slate, you kind of have to get unique with the micro buildups or building lineups um, at the micro level. So that's what, you know, that it's basically what it is. Um, I'm just going to go with the fav two favorites today. But yeah, if you have any other questions, let me know. Um, if you want to just talk league, feel free to reach out at TFS Chan on Twitter, YouTube, you know what, on any social media. Um, until then, hope you liked the video. Um, please, please hit the like button or subscribe to our channel. Yeah, have a good one. Good luck out there. Bye-bye.